Meanwhile, sources say that Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys have a mutual understanding of his contract situation. My understanding is no deal is coming. The understanding being that Dak Prescott set to play it out, I would say similar to coach Mike McCarthy, paves the way for Prescott potentially to be a free agent in 2025, adds a little bit of intrigue to the Cowboys season. Dak has already been tagged twice because they used the second tag prior to him physically signing the deal several years ago. They could tag him a third time, but that number would be upwards of $80 million for the 2025 season. It could be next year's Kirk Cousins. Mike? Hundred mil guaranteed. I'll take that. I know David Carr would as well. This is a wild story, man. Does this signal this. to you that Dax days are numbered in Dallas? Yeah, I think the number might be up, honestly. I mean, you got this season coming up, but it, it doesn't look like, you know, from the outside, like you have a franchise quarterback in the building. Because what you do in that situation, if you have that guy, is you use his contract and you restructure and you work around and you give him an extension, you give him some upfront money, and you build this team. You continue to grow them. But what this is, is basically, you got one more to prove it, that we're not gonna get the same thing that we've gotten over the last couple years. Good numbers during the regular season. I mean, the first game they lost at home was in the playoffs. I mean, they had a great regular season, but that's not ultimately what you're measured by as a quarterback. You gotta win the Super Bowl. Yeah, but David, and look, you were on record. You talked about this all season last year. You thought Dak was playing as well as any quarterback in the league. You had him on the short list for MVP conversation. I get everyone wants security, right? It doesn't matter if you're an NFL player or, or broadcaster or whatever. Is this a good thing for Dak, though, to not have a deal? I actually do think it's a good thing because, you know, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of what's happening in Dallas. I think that Mike McCarthy is, he tries to stay current with what's going on. And there were times where they copy and pasted and we see Brandon Cooks making some plays here. He showed up at times, but it's too much. It's too reliant on Dak and his ability to just drop back pass. I don't like it. The run game isn't there. And I Pollard's out. What are you going to do there? You haven't really filled the needs in the offseason to make this team better. You're not going to be as good on defense. Offensively, I don't think you're going to be as good either. So I think for me, I'm okay with Dak testing the market and going out there and maybe he lands in Minnesota. Maybe there's there's a lot of places that Dak Prescott would be highly valued. He could have a Kirk Cousins-like deal. You know, so I wouldn't be too stressed out if I was Dak. Go play the season, do everything you can to try and go win a Super Bowl. But that's, at the end of the day, it's not a bad thing. I think for both sides, because even if Jerry Jones, you look at it from a business standpoint, you get a young quarterback in there, now you can pay these other guys, Micah Parsons, CeeDee Lamb. You got a lot of guys that you've done a good job building the roster, but you got to pay these guys also. And your quarterback can't make $100 million, you know, if that's happening. So I think that that's... That's almost where the rubber meets the road. They might find it, you know, a situation at the end of the year where they part ways. Yeah, but, you, but he's a guy that can play, and he's talented, and they've won some games. Now, they don't get to the Super Bowl, so you tell yeah. me, man. What, play the game with me. What does Dak need to do to get a contract extension from the Cowboys? He's got to win the Super Bowl. I mean, it's plain and simple, right? We've watched them. We watched them this year. You know, they go out, they have a great regular season. They play the Packers, they get smoked. They would have had a home playoff game all the way through the playoffs, essentially. You know, but they find themselves in the situation that we've found them in the last couple of years. And I think the only way that Dak stays in Dallas after the season is if they're holding up the Lombardi Trophy after the season. That's, that's the only scenario that I see. Other than that, Dak will be somewhere else. He'll be actually better for it if it doesn't work out. If it ends the same way, or they struggle, or they go through some of the same old things where he's got to drop back pass, he's got to win the game. I mean, Dak is clutch. Dak is an MVP candidate every year. I think he does a tremendous job. I think he's underrated, if that's even possible. Being the quarterback for the Cowboys, can you be underrated? I believe that he is. I think he's a really good quarterback. If he's in the right system, one of those forward-thinking systems, I mean, if he's in San Francisco last year, no knock on Brock Purdy. They might be holding up the Lombardi Trophy. That's how much I think of Dak Prescott. You know, it's wild though. If if let's just say that scenario plays out and Dak Prescott's got the Lombardi Trophy at the end of the season, I can't even imagine the amount of paper that Jerry's going to have to be printed. Oh, he's writing sure a check. That, that he's right there. Right, big check. Be like wild. the golf ones, like you know the big ones you get after the tournament, <laughs> like sure. one of those. By the way, my golf game not good. You know, those are the types <laughs> of checks that you you go and get. I I know you're an athlete. <laughs> You probably swim a lot better than, than I do. All right, as David just made reference to paying some of these other guys, take a look at the pending 2025 free agent class for the Dallas Cowboys. So not this upcoming season. When it's done, this is a pretty good list of guys, talented players. We've been talking about this. Dallas Cowboys haven't necessarily made a ton of moves so far this offseason.